Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a tool called the Desmos Online Graphing Calculator to investigate reciprocal functions. Uh, this is actually just a really powerful tool in general that you should probably know about uh, if you're going to be studying math. It's probably the most powerful free math tool uh, available just for investigating cool stuff. So what you can do on Desmos is you can just type in a function like y equals mx plus b. And the cool thing is that m and b, Desmos will automatically know you want to be variable. So you see how it says right here, add a slider, m, b, or all. If I hit all, then it automatically makes a slider for both of these things that you can then just grab and play with. So, I mean, this is sort of a grade, you know, nine or 10 C activity, but you know, you can play with this and see, oh, how does M change the graph? And you can see the slope changing as it gets deeper or less steep. You can animate it by hitting the play or the pause button or manually drag it wherever you want. And then same thing with the B values, you can slide it up and down. Um, but we aren't particularly interested in the graph Y equals MX plus B. You know, you guys are in grade 11 math, you know this by now. But what I'm interested in is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this instead of Y, I'm gonna make this F of X and I've defined a function now. And now I can say that g of x is going to be one over f of x. And Desmos will then take this definition up here of f of x and use that definition of f of x underneath in your denominator for g of x. And then as you slide your function around, as you play with your b value, as you play with your slope, you can see how these different factors affect the reciprocal function of f of x. And another cool thing you can do, if you want, you can add uh, your x-intercept, and that x-intercept will automatically slide with you, so you can see that. Um, you can add, you can also just click these buttons. Uh, if you click on or off these color circles, you can actually make the function appear or disappear. So if you don't want to see the linear function, you can just see the reciprocal function. Then you can play with your sliders as you like, or turn your original function back on. So, I mean, this one's not super exciting. Like this is a linear function. You know, you've got your vertical asymptote wherever your x-intercept is. Um, but what we care more about is going to be a quadratic equation. So let's set up a quadratic equation. Let's do f of x equals, and let's do our basic uh, x squared graph plus c. And I'm gonna add a slider for c. And the reason I'm going to do this is we can see if c is zero, we should have, when we do a reciprocal, we should have one vertical asymptote, right? Because we have one zero. If C is above zero, we should get that sort of speed bump shape, right? Because we've got no x-intercepts, we've got no zeros. And if C is negative, then we should have two x-intercepts. So let's define our second function as g of x equals one over f of x. And boom, look at that, how cool is that? I'm just gonna animate the slider because it's just, just so cool. So you can see as, your, as it goes up higher and higher, as your C value goes up higher and higher, you get a shallower and shallower speed bump. If you get really close to zero, you get a huge speed bump until you actually get to zero. And at zero, if you scroll up and up and up and up and up, you can see that it's actually a vertical asymptote, not a speed bump shape anymore, when it's exactly through the x-inter or the x-axis. And then as soon as it's negative, boom, you've got yourself your section in the middle with two vertical asymptotes, one on either side, one for each of your two zeros. Pretty cool, eh? I'm just gonna watch this animation for a little while. I don't know if you hear my wife whisper awesome in the background, but I agree with her. Now she's laughing. All right, I don't think I don't think I deserve being laughed at for this because this is amazing, but well, I guess I'll let you decide. So uh, let's, let's do another one. Let's throw an A value in here. Let's do X minus N and X minus M. Okay, so this is sort of a factored form. So A is going to be the A value that you have in any quadratic and N and M are, are two X intercepts. And you'll notice I made them both negative. So if n and m are the same, then that means that you actually have one x-intercept, right, right at your vertex. And in this case, one, zero, because they're both one and one. And let's change them to, they're both zero, right? Um, oh, the other thing is you can change this to a step header if you only want integers, let's do that. If I click into the, the numbers, if you click into the numbers itself, you can set your, your step pattern. So I've got a step pattern of one now. So now it, it's just gonna just snap to integers for us. So if we make these both, if we make these both four, 
then you get one x intercept twice, right? Or if we make them different, then you get your two x intercepts. And this is just our basic quadratic, which we aren't terribly excited about, but let's look at this magic. G of x is one over f of x. And who? look at that. All of a sudden we've got our factored form, quadratic, instantly is turned into our uh, reciprocal function. And you can just play with these sliders and see what it looks like and investigate what happens, right? If we've got the same factor twice, you can see that you actually get your sort of volcano shape. If you have one positive, one negative, you're going to get your two x-intercepts, which give you your two vertical asymptotes, which you can see, which are great. Um, and of course, in factored form, in factored form, you're always going to have either one or two different x-intercepts. And so you're always going to have one or two different vertical asymptotes. Anyway, I'm going to give you guys links to these things. If you want to play with these things, go for it. Hit the animation buttons or just, you know, make your own blank one and play with it. See what you can do. Have fun with it.